Okay, everybody, welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to answer the question of what exactly does AWS AppStream look like? So, we're going to launch an AppStream session. We're going to use the sample session, actually, provided by AWS for free, so everybody can try it out and see what it looks like. And we're going to interact, we're going to interact with the end-user AppStream interface. So, without even starting a new video, I'm just going to go straight into it. Look at the sample applications now. And you can see, you can simply Google for try, sample, applications, AWS AppStream, and it should bring you to this first page in the first link. Thank you very much, Google. And if we click on this button here, you'll notice it takes me into my AWS console. Now, it's, it's done that because I'm already logged in, and it's already set my default home or region as EU London. Now, AppStream isn't available in that region, so let's just choose another one. I'm going to choose the next closest region, which is Ireland. Wait for that to let me in. It's taking me straight to the demo fleet. And here you can see some of the apps that are installed in that fleet. We'll go ahead and launch Firefox. We'll wait for it to connect. Um, and while we're waiting for that to load, we should be able to click on here and click on the streaming mode so we can get some statistics around how it's going. So you can see some network latency of about 31 milliseconds, uh, some bandwidth usage, some frame rates, information like that. So you can change from responsiveness, which is a quick session, to best quality, which is you know better image quality effectively within the session. Um, and there's lots of other options and things that the users can do within their session. They can launch other applications. They can do a side-by-side -side comparison of the apps that are running. They can copy and paste uh, information into a temporary directory. Now, this temporary files directory is exactly that, temporary. So if the image is stopped or if it's restarted, all of this is wiped. They can add folders and add files and stuff, but that it's important to note that that's what happens. Uh, they can copy from local, paste to remote. So that's when you're copying and pasting text. However, only recently Recently, have they introduced the ability to directly cut and paste into the session without having to use the cut to copy to local and using this previously you had to use these options for cutting and pasting now you can do it straight into the session which is awesome um, you can see the graphic graphics there as they're, as they're changing and, and sliding between the different uh, stuff here and you can see it's quite smooth it's as if it was running locally which is great we can enable things like the microphone we can change the screen resolution for the sessions streaming mode you saw with the information here and then finally we can go to full screen mode as well I'll just close that information off there so off we go here in the session I'm going to open something else let's go and open Excel as you can see it's quite quick open a blank workbook and it's, it's as if I'm working with a native version of Microsoft Excel installed on my local machine, only it just happens to be on a remote session that's running in the island servers on AWS AppStream. So that's it for a very quick demo just of exactly what AWS AppStream is. Um, if you didn't know, now you do. Any questions, let me know. Otherwise, carry on to the next videos. Thanks very much.